Tommy, I'm coming. I hope I didn't make you wait. Mary, I'm coming. Oh, God, I hope I'm not late. Mary, don't you know me? It's a little baby. I walk a million miles for one of your smiles on my night. That was The Jazz Singer, made in 1927, Hollywood's first sound movie, the first talkie. The same year, across the continent, Joe Albrecht bought his own movie camera. Unfortunately, we lose the sounds. These are his first pictures, a parade in downtown Buffalo shot from his law offices at Albrecht, McGuire, Heffern, and Mills. Located about four hours of film shot from 1927 to 1955, most in the earlier years, and tried to collect the best parts here. It's hard to know who's who in these early pictures from 1927. This is the only face I can really recognize. Lindbergh had just flown the Atlantic solo and was touring the nation afterward. It was a pretty good time for the country. It was a good time for Buffalo, which was still one of America's major successful cities. It was a center of innovation. That's Joe's Uncle Gus in the white shirt. He's at a farm near Ellicott Creek that Joe owned. At that time, Joe was married to Adelia, and they had three daughters, Louise, born in 1909, Audra, born in 1910, and this is Mary, born 1913. Here someone at the farm has played a trick on the girls, collapsing their tent. The family had used this tent three years earlier, driving across the country in their Pierce Arrow, quite a feat at the time. This is the farmhouse. It was leased to Fred and Emily Muck. Emily's maiden name had been Muck, so now she was Emily Muck Muck. Adelia is in that car, according to a notation on the film. Unfortunately, we don't have any better shot of her. Ellicott Creek. Here are the three sisters swimming in the creek. The fourth woman is unidentified. One of these women is Emily Muck Muck. Another is Joe's sister, Audra Gregg. In August 1927, Joe and the three girls, along with 
Ralph Gregg, Audra's son, who was then age 10, set off in the Pierce Arrow on a trip to Boston and New York City looking at colleges for Louise. The first stop was Syracuse University. None of the girls went here, but I dwell on it because it's been my own home for 30 years. Archibald Field was our old football stadium, now long gone, but a place of glory. When Mount Holyoke or Wellesley or Skidmore came here to play, they were smashed. My office now sits in the empty foreground of this scene. There's still no building, but that's where my office is. This is a stop at Adelia's family farm near Richfield Springs, east of Syracuse. Ralph remembers this horse. The girls with Adelia's family. Touring schools. On the ferry, there's Mary. In front is Louise, then Audra, I think, then Ralph. Coney Island. Not a member of the family. There's Joe. It was a great trip. They had a ball. I don't know anything about these people, apparently another family of significance, except that they liked dogs and they had some unsavory connections. Here's Dorothy in 1928 at Sunset Hill. Adelia had died in December of 1927 after a long illness. By March, Joe and Dorothy were engaged. They were cousins, long acquainted. They married in September of 1928 here at Sunset Hill. It was the country home of Dorothy's parents, John and Minnie Graybow. This is uh, the Nagy family, friends of Joe and Dorothy. That's Dorothy, and the old lady on the left is, is Minnie, her mother, Minnie Mason Graybow. John was a noted bookbinder. He'd learned his trade at the Roycroft, the famous arts and crafts community in Aurora, New York, then went off on his own. The arts and crafts movement emphasized the simple life close to nature, which you see at Sunset Hill. A boys group, something like the Scouts, would meet here around John's fire circle and would hike his trails.
Joe and Minnie, his future mother-in-law. Jack Nagy was a chemist, Joe's friend. Together they had invented an athlete's foot powder and tried to market it, but I guess few people wanted athlete's foot so it never sold. This would eventually lead to five children. Dorothy with baby Joe, born 1930, called Joji, Joe Jr. Crescent Beach, on the north shore of Lake Erie in Canada, where the Albrecht family had a summer home. Joe Sr. could commute into work every day on the streetcar. There's Mary. That looks like the young John Kennedy. Audra, I think. The two Joes. Joji's christening at Sunset Hill. There are the grandparents. That's Fran. Fran was Dorothy's sister. There they are. That's Grandpa with Joe and Nancy Graybow. Audra or Louise. John Graybow and his son-in-law Joe. This is Louise's graduation from Mount Holyoke in 1930. Louise is going to the competition for Queen of the May. That's what they did there instead of football. A messenger brings the ballot results. The new queen on the left emerges victorious. She is crowned. That's the loser. They take this pretty seriously. Yep, the messenger comes. There's another contender who doesn't accept the decision. She challenges the new queen. The philosophy faculty comes in to settle this. They turn it over to the full academic senate. 
Finally, it's solved. There's the new queen. She's the one with the bouquet. That's the winner. Louise is just happy that she survived the pageant. Baby Adele, born 1933. This is her christening at Sunset Hill. There's Aunt Fran and husband Guy. There's Adi, another sister. Adi is holding Adele, and there on our left is her mother, Minnie Mason Graybow. Now Dorothy's holding Joe Jr., Adi's holding Adele. That's Fran and Guy. And there's a good family grouping. The older sisters in back, the newer family in front. I assume Grandpa's taking the film. A gazing ball at Sunset Hill. Adele and Big Brother Joe. There's Barbara, born 1934, with suspiciously blonde hair, with aging grandpa. Joe and Adele. Here is Adele trying out for a role in an R Gang comedy. This is the Depression. Audra got her master's degree from Wellesley around 1934.
Barbara with Joe. This is Mary's graduation from Holyoke in 1935. That's Mary in the first row of the daisy chain, the second from our left. Here's another one of those pageants, reliving school days. A lot of parties, dancing, an examining committee. riding off into an unknown future. Mary, Audra, Louise, I think. Becky's christening at Sunset Hill in 1935. The older girls in back with Dorothy, the younger kids in front. Grandma and the baby, Grandpa. Mary's wedding to Dick Emerson in 1936. There's Audra, Dick and Mary, a friend of Mary's, Dorothy, Joe, Adele, the flower girl. Becky with Grandma and Dorothy. Adele, again, the flower girl. Audra. Dorothy. This is a sequence about Becky's lawnmower.
I believe Barbara wet her pants there. This must be a 4th of July parade. That's Nikki. Nineteen thirty eight. Louise getting a master's degree. Shortly after we're getting a baby, that's baby Lloyd and Lu Louise's husband Lloyd Acton. Here are some scenes from the 117 North Cayuga House in Williamsville. That's Becky. Barbara and Joe. An aging grandpa. That garden plaque has a poem by Thomas Edward Brown. A garden is a lovesome thing, God wot. Rose plot, fringed pool, ferned grot. The various school of peace, and yet the fool contends that God is not. Not God in gardens, when the eve is cool, 
Nay, but I have a sign, tis very sure, God walks in mine. That's Polly with Grandpa. There's Polly. That's Adele being boss. Barbara and Polly on the swing. If you project ahead 25 years, you can see why I fell in love. A good family portrait. Polly with the kitten. Linda Ramey's baptism party. April 1946. That's Len and Adi Ramey on the left next to Joe in his scout uniform. On Joe's left are Janet and Nancy Graybow, their daughters of Dorothy's brother Bill and his wife Ada. There's Becky, Adi, Len holding Linda, Barbara and Joe, that's Polly, that's Norma Ramey, that's Adele, Dorothy, here we go for another pass, Becky, Adi, Len, Norma, Joe, Linda, Barbara, Nancy and Janet, Graybow, Joe, behind Polly, Adele, and Grandpa. Grandma, she hasn't aged. She looked old at the beginning. She looks old at the end. cocktail hour in the backyard. Becky. The two Joes are in Ohio. It's 1953. Joe is about to wed Barbara Brem. That's Polly. The family is arriving, some in style.
Barbara Bram in the blue bathing suit on Joe's shoulders. Adele, Polly, before the wedding, there's Barbara, Adi and Dorothy, Becky in her much loved black dress. into the limousine. Mr. and Mrs. Brem. Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Albrecht Sr. Mr. and Mrs. Joseph Albrecht Jr. back home in the garden with the Cadillac. This is Adele and her good friend Susie Latin. Sharing one motel room, there's Dorothy, Barb and Don Shaw, Barb and Joe Albrecht, Len and Audie, and Polly and Becky. This is Adele's graduation from Skidmore, 1955. There's Adele center screen looking this way. first of three to go through Skidmore. There's Becky in her black dress, Polly in white. Lake Sunapee, 1955. Joe and Dorothy. Dick Emerson, several of the boys pictured are Dick and Mary's sons, that's the clumsy one. David Ramey. Linda Ramey. That's Mary with John and Jim Emerson. There's Polly. Polly kicking her mother.
Hansel or Liebchen, difficult to tell. Len, Adi, and Dorothy. Mary and Dick waving goodbye.